<laughs> of course, electrical engineering is just for boys. So I took up electrical engineering, and that's where my story starts. It wasn't only the math or the science that interested me, it was the problem-solving aspect. While testing for arsenic and water for my PhD in computer science, it suddenly clicked. Technology can help bridge the gap between simply monitoring a problem and actually solving it. Setting up Nextleaf Analytics was my way of having a direct impact to change the system. When we started monitoring the temperature of fridges more than a decade ago, we never could have imagined the scale and speed of global distribution needed for the heat-sensitive COVID vaccine. Utilizing Nextleaf's experience with temperature monitoring and analytical data, we've developed portable sensors to monitor the temperature of the vaccines during transportation and are working closely with ministries of health to establish responsive supply chains that get the vaccines into arms effectively and equitably. It turns out, Girls can do electrical engineering. Who would have thought? My name is Tina and I'm 17 years old. I don't really have access to technology at home, but if truth be told, I never really considered myself a technical person anyway. In school, we were introduced to the AI for Youth program and it gave me the idea to design an AI model that can predict mental depression. But afterwards, I was amazed to discover that the model resulted in a 77 to 80% accuracy rate. When I look around and see young people struggling with mental health issues, it gives me a hope that models like these can be leveraged to give them the help they need. And though I feel there are still a lot of unanswered questions around ethics and AI, this project has made me realize that AI and tech can be used for good. Chemyeloid leukemia is an aggressive cancer with no known warning signs, so early detection is very hard, if not impossible. In 2018, my grandfather was diagnosed with it and died a year later. I was convinced that there must have been signs that were missed in my grandfather's blood test before he was diagnosed, and I wanted to use my knowledge in AI to try and make a difference. I began to imagine an open source program that the community could all work together on, sharing information and finding solutions upon. We need to make partnerships with the hospitals and research centres to get access to the data and the skills that can help us move forward in our mission. If we can work together, we can be the difference.